Hi, welcome to the AWS Cost Optimization Series. Today, we will be talking about how to leverage CloudWatch for cost optimization. Amazon CloudWatch collects and helps us to visualize real-time logs, metrics, and event data in automated dashboard to streamline your infrastructure and application maintenance. You can monitor your estimated AWS charges by using Amazon CloudWatch. When you enable the monitoring of estimated charges for your AWS account, the estimated charges are calculated and sent several times daily to CloudWatch as metric data. Billing metric data is stored in the US East North Virginia region and represents worldwide charges. This data includes the estimated charges for every service in AWS that you use, in addition to the estimated overall total of your AWS charges. The alarm triggers when your account billing exceeds the threshold you specify. It triggers only when the current billing exceeds the threshold. It doesn't use projections based on your usage so far in the month. If you create a billing alarm at the time when your charges have already exceeded the threshold, the alarm goes to the alarm state immediately. So let's have a look in the console. We need to look for CloudWatch here. Let's type CloudWatch on the search bar click on CloudWatch, and on the left side, we can see alarms. Let's click all alarms, create alarm, and then we need to select metrics. Let's click on select metric, and on this search bar, we will look for billing. If we try to look for this metric, we can see that we don't know much any metric. So we need to enable this first, before creating a metric on CloudWatch. To do that, we need to go to billing. Let's configure this first, billing preferences. Let's tick cost management preference, receive free tier usage alerts, and receive billing alerts. Save preferences. And then let's go back to CloudWatch. In CloudWatch, we need to make sure that we are selecting the North Virginia region, US East. Once we are there, we can click again on all alarms, create alarm, select metric, and we can see now the billing metrics are already enabled. Let's click on total estimate charge. Let's select this metric, estimated charge, select metric, and now we are ready to create our alarm. Okay, so we can change our name here, the name of this metric, or we can keep this as it is. If we scroll down a little bit, we can select the threshold type. Let's keep this static. Let's keep also greater threshold. This means that we will receive an alarm, this alarm on alert once the estimated charge is greater than our threshold. Let's add here 100 USD. Click on Next. We will receive an alarm when this threshold is, is passed. So we need to create a topic, an SNS topic, or we can use uh, one that has been created before. But let's create one new here. We can leave this name as it is and add one email. If I'm adding my email, we can create this topic, and we are ready to use this alarm. So we click on Next. Let's define this as estimated charge. Next, we are ready with a preview. We are ready to create this alarm. So the first state of this alarm is insufficient data because it takes a little bit time just to recollect all the metrics, all the data points to validate if this alarm is, is, ready, is ready to send a trigger or not. But after that, in case the threshold is passed, we will receive an alert, an email from CloudWatch. Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something new today and I'll see you in the next video.